Hey folks, welcome to Market Technical Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today being Tuesday, March 25th, 2008. Well, the two-day rally seems to have come to a close, and exactly what we talked about yesterday happening basically happened today. So there's not a lot to go over in the, in the ways of major market moves today, purely from the perspective of the fact that the market basically had a pause day. And those of you that watched the video yesterday, we actually said look for that pause day or pause days. And it's important to realize that that's a plural because it's more than likely we will have another pause or pullback in the market prior to another possible move higher. So what I just want to show you guys, and it's kind of just funny, it caught my eye, so I figured I'd show it to you guys. You guys, you know, yesterday we called for the pause day today. And ultimately, uh, as you can see right here on Yahoo that the head title right here reads stocks pause after big two-day rally so there you go you can see the the basic call by in the money stocks.com coming to fruition there and posted even on in on Yahoo finance here uh, as the leading story for the day in the markets after what we mentioned was most likely going to happen today now let's get rid of that and go right into the charts needless to say we did expect the pause day today but what we do want to show you guys is that even though we had you know a relatively quiet day on the intraday chart there were a couple whips but it was very small small whips meaning it looks larger on the chart than it really is uh, we're used to 20 30 point moves on the ES futures here and this is again the intraday 10 minute we use a 10 minute intraday chart of the E minis the ES M8 contract that's the June 08 contract of the S&P futures and uh, again we use the 20 the 50 and the 200 moving averages to uh, decide and notice the patterns and the trading volumes and the support and resistance levels so needless to say it looks a lot bigger than it really is this is a tight range from here to here is only 10 points this is opposed to you know the last few days where the the ES futures have been moving up and down 10 points every 5 10 minutes so you can kinda get the general sense so needless to say here we saw a nice move up early uh, around six o'clock in the morning to seven eight o'clock then we saw a pullback and uh, even a little bit of a dip here we had a little bit of economic news come out about 915 on housing prices and uh, you can see the big dip there it actually looks bigger than it really is again just about a, a five six point drop in the S&P futures and we got a nice little bottoming tail to come to 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 fruition right there at the bottom ultimately setting up for a nice move higher and we basically trended higher all day uh, you know until the until the last I would say the last hour of the day where profits were taken and people did exit the market and that's a wise choice and it's important to understand here you guys are seeing right here the volume look at the volume and this this by the way this does worry us a little bit and I want to express to you guys why we're why we say that when we talk about worrying not that we're expecting a huge move down again but you are we are now kinda of getting the sense that there's a possibility maybe not tomorrow but in the next few days that you're gonna have the continued pause effect and possibly even a pullback now in the markets because there was like just no volume out there there's absolutely no volume and it continues to look like while the markets are trying to trend higher, you just need to have volume behind it to continue this move. So until we see a bit of a pullback, you have to expect that we have a sort of a possible down move coming. Now I want to check, switch to the uh, SPY so we can actually show you this a little clearer. Uh, notice the move up here, okay? Notice the beautiful, by the way, huge move, uh, which we did call uh, prior to it happening. And at expect, well, basically, when everyone else was jumping out the window saying we were going to new lows, we did mention that we were looking for a massive rally here, and it has taken place. Now you're talking about from a low down here of about 126 on the SPY, all the way to where we uh, the highs today of 135.5. So 135.5, almost a 10 point SPY move, which is unheard of really in such a short amount of time. It's a huge move. Now the question is, we're we're hovering right around this 50 moving average, and you can see the 50 basically coming all the way down here. That's the 50 moving average, and we hit it one time already. So we have touched it before, which indicates, and oftentimes that you don't get as massive a pullback. The first hit of the 50 is always a big pullback, and you can see the type of pullback we had off that 50. We actually had a big pullback, then a bounce back to the 20, a retrace forming a nice W pattern, and now the move back up here. Now the question becomes, where do we go at this point? Now notice the volume divergence here, and this is this is why we we almost you know we still expect another move up the question is do we pull back first instead of just pause and uh, we may see a small pullback I, don't, I still don't think you're gonna see anything major in the way of like a huge sell-off back to the lows and if we do well then we obviously know we'll probably go lower at that point we've already hit the double bottom twice so another hit of it could very well break the uh, 126 lows on the SPY but notice the volume here guys 
All right, so you have this volume divergence when the price is, in, is, is, is increasing here. And that is something to keep watch of because the volume has been extremely light the last two days. Now, it was very light yesterday, and it continued to be light. Yesterday, we expected it to be light because you had the hangover from the Easter weekend and the holiday. Now, today, it was light again, and there was just no news out there. We had consumer confidence at uh, 10 o'clock, which came in basically okay. Um, you know, it was, it was not expected to be good. So it basically came in, in, in line with expectations, and that's why you saw the, the markets basically shrug it off. Now, we again, it wasn't a pretty number uh, at all, but as I mentioned, the markets ex once the market expects something, if they expect it to be bad, then even if it is bad, it's, it's already factored in the price of the market. So again, we want to focus in and see if we can get volume. Ideally, we want to focus on volume now going into the next few days. Do we pick up volume and do we sell off, or do we pick up volume and move higher? Again, again, we got that pause day today we expected. Now, ult, uh, in, in a f all fair sense, we'd like to see more of a pause here to set up for another push higher. In fact, I would love to see, and we would love to see, here's the 20 moving average, and I'll even draw that in. Here's the 20, you guys can see it by the yellow line here, so I don't even need to really draw it in. But the yellow line is the 20 moving average. In, in an ideal situation, we wanna see a consolidation right around that 20 moving average, uh, a pullback in that range, to set up for another blast off higher, all right, and and, and in, in an ideal sense here, we'd see a blast off, you know, a very nice move possibly coming uh, to fruition. Uh, we're looking at a range of time period as a, a possible rally after a pullback pause here into uh, mid-April, maybe April 10th to April 15th, before we see a next turn date possibly for a move down. Mm -hmm. Now again, this is all speculation, and as I always like to say, always consult your financial advisor before making any any financial decision based on anything these videos say. I just throw, we just throw this 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 information out there to you know help people learn the technicals behind chart patterns and and the markets, and uh, it should never be construed as investment advice under any circumstance. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys. But nonetheless, that is what we're looking for. We're looking for a, a, a mid-April turn date, possibly lower, taking out the lows in the markets. But in the meantime, you got to play the side of the market that's winning. And right now, we've had a very bullish move off the lows. And as after we consolidate and maybe have a small pullback, expect another push. All right, it's very rare you get a W pattern here without continued upside. In fact, we'd even like to see a little uh, V, W, pullback would be the, the bottom half of the V or the left half, and then the blast off would be the other half of the V uh, coming back up. I think you're looking at a move at least to probably here. That's a great move. If we could have a move up there, that would be phenomenal. And at that point, you'd have a triple top, and we'd have to see basically where we uh, go from there. Okay, With that triple top hold, uh, most likely you'd bounce off it because it's going to be major, major resistance at that point. All right, let's look at the NASDAQ because the NASDAQ is an interesting daily chart as well. The NASDAQ was the, uh, the Dow was actually down today. The S&P was up slightly, and the NASDAQ was up about 14 points. And you can actually see that we are above the 50 moving average, but very extended. And again, that worries us because the volume, and we don't have volume on this chart, but the volume on the NASDAQ was declining as well. So we would like to see um, a cons continued continue consolidation here above this 20 moving average. And you can come back and touch the 20. There's nothing wrong with touching the 20. In fact, that's healthy to do. You always come, gotta come back to the home base moving average, which is the 20 moving average. You wanna just make sure you stay above it and you don't have any nasty, nasty sell days where we start to establish a downtrend again because this is a powerful change in trend right here. So as long as you pull back to this area and you consolidate and you can go sideways to this way or you can go sharper down, as long as you consolidate above this level, then you're setting up for another possible move up. Uh, possibly, you know, I'd like to think that we could easily get to this level up here or maybe even higher. You know, that it will have to kind of analyze that as we go. Each day as the market closes, we get a better sense of where the market can go because another piece of the puzzle is in place. So that's the key. All right, guys, so keep that in mind. On the downside, you know, we always mention that we are expecting to move up, but it's very possible that, you know, the market can do anything at any time. You get another financial company to say something horrible or, or you know, get bought out for $2 a share, and the market could get scared again and dump very quickly. So you always got to look at the downside, even though we are expecting more upside. And the downside, basically, you're talking about this level right here as being strong support, which is the lows from, uh, from the... March 10th and right here was March 17th as being you know trying to hold right there so if that can hold then that would be the nearest term support lines okay uh, 
other than that, in the, the indexes didn't have a lot of movement today because of the kind of pause day, but there were a lot of stocks out there that are moving, and it's beginning to get fun in the day trading side of things when you're dealing with stocks again. Um, we're noticing various sectors, like the solar sector was so hot today. SOLF, CSIQ, First Solar, FSLR, SPWR, you name it. If it was a solar stock, it was up big. SOLF, one of my favorites that I mentioned on these videos. This Look at the move up here. This is the daily, by the way, but on the intraday, you can just see the, the tremendous move up here. Uh, basically went from $10.50 to twelve fifty, up $2.18 today, or over 20% move in a solar stock. And we always focus in on those solars because they're, they're huge movers. And we've caught them multiple times on the long side and on the short side, expecting both ways and profiting on both ways. So there were a lot of sectors out there that were hot today on the stock side, and even the small stocks are beginning to wake up. And, and those of you that trade with me in the stock chat, you guys know that I favor those as, as some nice small swing trades right there, the small and mid-cap arena for some big gains. We actually closed out a ZView trade for 30% for today, ZVUE, right before earnings. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Come join the intraday e-mini stock chat, and come join the swing trade alerts and options alerts, private consulting, you name it, we got it. Take care.